Yo, what up, what up, what up, and welcome back to Pinoy News. Man, listen, these motherfuckers. Yo. All right, check this out. So, yesterday I did a video and I broke down what exactly short selling was and what was going on. All right. So, basically, a giant hedge fund stood here and took a massively risky position that had unlimited amount of downside. Well, you know what I'm saying? Of some internet persons ended up called Wall Street Bets on Reddit, right? Stood here and found out through public knowledge that, you know what I mean, they were allowed to short the stock or they were allowed to buy this stock and it would end up, you know what I mean, collapsing, you know I mean, their position and they could make unlimited money. It's an unlimited money glitch, right? So what happened? Well, instead of letting the hedge fund fail for making bad decisions, what they did was stop normal people from buying the shares, right? And actually illegally suppressing the goddamn price of the stock. So what they did was, is they stood here instead of like, you know, letting this company go bankrupt, right? Which is what should have happened. The hedge fund should have went bankrupt for, you know, I mean, shorting out 120% of the position, right? Basically, they bought 120% of all the shares. They borrowed that many and they shorted it out right? Which meant that they sold off all those shares. And when they did so, they were supposed to buy them back at a lower price and they would have made, you know what I mean? A killing on it. But the thing is, is like everybody found out, well, you know what? We can stand here and buy the shares and drive the price up and end up standing here. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, killing their position and making unlimited money because these idiots made a bad bet. Legit. That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? And this happened on Wall. If this was a Wall Street bank that did this shit, nobody would say nothing. Right. But the problem is, is this is normal people who did this. And so now what happens? I have, a, I have an article here. Check this out. GameStop nosedives on restrictions by Robinhood and other pla other platforms. GameStop's wish last is after restrictions imposed by Robinhood and other trading platforms. Other short squeeze shares drop sharp, uh, sharply. GameStop continued its whiplash ways Thursday, tumbling, rising, and then sinking again after trading platforms like Robinhood limited transactions in their shares. Oh, they said, they said really simple. You can sell this share, right? So you can, you know, I mean, stand here and uh, help them gain their position back. So, you know, they can, you know, not lose so much money, but you can't buy anymore, right? Because, you know, this Wall Street bank, you know, it, um, you know, it needs to stand here and, you know, I mean, continue to make money and make fraudulent buys and continue to stand here and, you know, I mean, destroy the economy of the United States, you know, like, you know, they can sit here and do whatever illegal activity they want to do. But, you know, hey, man, look, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I mean? Yo, you people do it, man. Listen, you know, <laughs> like, no, we're not going to have that. All right. So AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, two other heavily shorted stocks are dropping sharply in the early Thursday trades. AMC was off 67. Bed Bath & Amazon, 37%. The activity was sparked largely by Reddit-based chatroom Wall Street Bets. Menlo Park, California-based Robinhood said in his blog it added new limits uh, to this app to restrict users from trading any of the popular Wall Street Bet stocks. BlackBerry, Nokia, uh, Koss, and uh, Naked Brand Group are also on the list. BlackBerry and Nokia were falling while Koss and Naked uh, were soaring. Charles Schwab's TD Ameritrade has also been limited to some transactions and shares in GameStops, AMCs, and others. We have placed restrictions on some transactions in SGME and other securities, a spokesperson said in the email. Restrictions which differ from security to security are subject to change and may include actions like increasing margin requirements, are limiting certain types of transaction like short sales and those that involve unlimited risk. The spokesperson said, we have made what we believe to be prudent and appropriate decisions to place some limits on certain transactions for certain securities. GameStop shares had soared to a record high Thursday, touching $500 each in pre-market trading. <laughs> Yo, go get them, boys. Yo, preventing anyone from trading a publicly traded stock sounds to me like an illegal act of market manipulation to assist the people betting against the stock, one commenter complained on Robinhood's Twitter page. Everyone who sees this finds a new broker. Robinhood has chosen their side of history and is not ours. They have completely blocked all purchases for literally every stock and was even remotely mentioned on Wall Street Bets Reddit, another complained. The pre-market surge followed a brief outage for Wall Street Bets, which has been identified as the source for much of the stock's popularity. This is beginning to descend on January 12th. Well, it's really simple. You know what I'm saying? Look, <laughs> if you know somebody's making a bad bet, you bet against them, right? It's that simple. 
like legitimate. This is an insider trading or whatever the case might be. What this is, is legit. They made a bad bet. They got exposed. And maybe they shouldn't stand here and, you know what I mean, have so much of a fucking short position in, in any stock. It doesn't matter what it is, right? And if you choose to make that type of short position, you choose to lose your ass. It's that simple. And here's the thing. Now it's become a point of principle where these individuals are losing money on their fucking bets, right? And everybody's just holding until these individuals start to bleed. Good. Get them, boys. This is Tom Pease with Pinoy News. Peace.